Okay, what's up guys, this is Trey and today I'm going to um, make a tutorial on how to create a XRPC tool for MW2 and first of all you need to um, download Microsoft Visual Studio, doesn't matter which version and now just click on new project and now go to other languages and then Visual C Sharp. Click on Windows Phone app Applications and then rename it to uh, MW2 in a XRPC tool. T8 and click on OK. Alright, now you can resize it if you want. And also you need to click on view and and then click on solution explorer and you need to add a DLL it's called XRPC and um, this one I think it's been used uh, it's from James Tool. You can just click on browse if you want, and then uh, I will provide a link, down link for the DLL. So just click on the XRPC dot DLL, and then click on DL, um, click on add, and then OK. And now um, you can close the Solution Explorer again. Now you can change the text from the form one if you want to something like MW2 tool. Yeah. And now add a button. Uh, this will be the connect button. So connect. Double click on that and you also need to add you um, using XRPC lib so liberation and you also need to add using X dev kit alright and you also need to add the XRPC JTAG equals new JTAG and uh, no, XRPC this will do. Um, this will create a new XRPC called JTAG. So every time you click, uh, type in JTAG, and then dot a dot, it will show you some functions. You can also rename them, like to your name, to your model name. It will be Trey. Yeah. So every time I type in tray, yeah, dot, and now you can, you need to uh, type in um, connect. I will change it back to JTAG. Right. And now you need to check if the connection is true or not. So if it's active, active connection. Then message box should a message box should come up saying that it's connected. Connected. Right. Otherwise, if it's not true, <coughs> uh, it should come up with a message box saying failed. All right. Now. What you also can uh, add is a another button um, called the send server command. Send server command resize it. Now add a numeric up down for the clients. Now change the minimum T 
to minus 1, and the maximum to 17, and then the value to minus 1, so it sends a server command to all clients. Alright. Now, now you need to add a text box. Um, text box. Okay. Double click on send server command. And then type in jtech.call. Now, for the address, you need to add. What I do is um, do this public um, unsigned integer and then call sv for server command equals and then the offset the offset is r0x uh, whatever and then semicolon and now you can just type in sv so it sends so it will do the so it's over command and now um you need to add the for the clients add a new integer called client equals numeric down dot value now it will underline it right because you need to convert it to an integer. Right. Now tap in client one and then text box dot text. So it will send a um a function, uh, a dvar, a command, whatever you want to call it, um to the client which will be at the numeric of down. Um, and yeah, you also can do. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Is adding a uh, text to the text box. So this will be the um, pro mod, uh, the modded field of view. Um, yeah, and, okay, I have seven minutes, <sighs> what I can do is test the connection, I'll start my JTAG, so it will take some time, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, now I'm in, um, I'm on my JTAG and now I'll click uh, connect. That's connected to my JTAG. Yeah. And on. Um, as you can see, I didn't do anything. And do quick screen capture so it's normal. Now I will send a server command. Yeah, that's the promo. And you can do everything with that. So, like, um, Back your map to sensor command, and I've got Chrome Visions. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I will add. Uh, I will do more things in the next tutorial. So, if you want more of them, then just like and comment. And feel free to post comments saying what I should uh, fix or what I should do. Alright? 
See you in the next video. See you.